Well, I'm participating in Jenny Goff's cookie swap for Christmas, and I have a special cookie for you. Last month, I made a recipe that I hoped was close to my mom's icebox cookie recipe. And you know, it was good, but it just wasn't it. And I mentioned it to my great niece, and she said, hmm, wait a minute. She had an old recipe box from her aunt when she died, and she found this in it. Let me give a close-up for you. Well, here's the recipe that was found. It's called them refrigerated cookies instead of icebox cookies. And I believe that number sign is pound sign. So it was one pound sugar, but it looks like C-O-N-F, so confectioner sugar. And maybe that's what she meant down here. The one pound is powdered sugar. One pound oleo, and that's what they used to call margarine. Six cups flour, two eggs, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon vanilla. And I said, my gosh, I think that's it. I'm not sure until I make them, but that might be it. It might have confectioner sugar, powdered sugar. Who would have thought? So, I'm making the recipe for you, and we'll find out, is it the right one? We have the one pound of what it said is oleo, which is what they used to call margarine. Okay, Cassie, you want to put in the two eggs? No, here. There we go. Okay. Now we just need in here one teaspoon vanilla. Cassie, let's take this to the kitchen mixer and beat it up, okay? Now we're going to start to add our flour one cup at a time. You want to put it in here, Cassidy? It's not enough. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And then we're just going to mix this up. And we will be back when we have all six cups incorporated. It was almost too much dough for my KitchenAid. Here's the dough, nice, rich, creamy color. Now let's put it out here. Oh, molds really nice. You know, using that powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, really is different, but boy, it makes it the dough really, really nice. Now, right down. Basically, we just want to mold these. It's flat. And we want it. Okay. That's good for one. Another big one out here. Squish it all together. It's really funny because this is the only thing I can ever remember my mom using, as she said, oleo in. And she thought it gave it a richer flavor than butter, which kind of goes against what you think, doesn't it? Just want a little 
vlog here. I think that's pretty good. Now on our final one here, I'm gonna put in some black walnuts. And these are black walnuts that I found in my freezer from fall of 2011. Yes, 10 years ago. But you know what? They still taste fine. So I don't know, we'll put it in half and see if that's enough. And then we'll go back. So I'm just gonna mix these in by hand and I'll be back when I'm ready. I am gonna put in the rest of them. And the kids don't really like nuts. You know, kids seem to go through that stage where they only like them maybe in a snicker bar. <laughs> but I do. And I love the smell of the black walnuts in this. I'm going to Squish this up. And yeah, it's then make a mess. I try to work in these walnuts. Eat a little of these walnuts. Oh, mm, they're so good. And these are walnuts that I had foraged from the neighborhood 10 years ago. So essentially they were free. And I probably should have grown the ground them up a little bit finer, but whatever. We'll see what happens with this way. I have to just take a taste. This is my mom's recipe. It is. Even before you put it in the refrigerator, the dough is so creamy. Mmm. And with these nuts, Mm. I hate to even make it in cookies. It tastes so good like this. Mm. <coughs> now we're just going to make sure this is completely covered. ready for the refrigerator. Now we're just going to put a bunch of this green down and then we're going to take one of our other logs and we're 
just going to back when I have this all nice and squished in. Okay, now we're going to wrap it up. Get it ready for the refrigerator. There we go. And now we're going to do it with our rub. Okay, now these are going to go in my refrigerator overnight. And we'll make up the cookies tomorrow. It is the next morning, and now we're gonna make our cookies. Oh, just heard my oven say it's up to temperature. We're gonna put them in at 350 degrees. Just unwrap here. And most of our green sugar has stayed on. So, I'm just gonna be cutting them. About a quarter inch. Anyone that follows me knows that I'm not the greatest for measuring thickness and keeping them uniform, but more uniformity, the better. We'll be back. Here they are. Now we're going to pop them in the oven for, depending on your oven, Mike is not good at keeping the right temperature right now anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes. Be back. Let's do a taste test, Chef Cassidy. Eat the dough. Is it good? Mm-hmm. I think so too. Okay, here they are, fresh out of the oven. Kept their nice white surface. And got your nice green on the sides. Now I have turned the temperature up to 375 in my oven because it seems just to be taking too long. And here are the cookies, rimmed in red sugar. Here's the icebox cookies with the black walnuts, my favorite. So this is the dough with the black walnuts. Mm. And just so creamy. It tastes even better when it is refrigerated, you know, a little colder. It's just so, so good. And I think the powdered sugar is what makes it so creamy. Mmm. Okay, now for our taste test. I always dip in coffee. That's why I love these cookies. Mmm. They're melt in your mouth. The other recipe was just a little, I don't know, packed, hard, how to describe it. But this, <laughs> so, so good. So I'm really happy I found my mom's recipe. And now I can make it for generations to come. And of course I had Chef Cassidy helping me. So she is learning what she will call always grandma's recipe, but it will really be what great grandma used. And that's what we need to do. We need to encourage young ones to learn our recipes because sometimes you're gonna go there and go, oh God, I wish I had that recipe and find out there's no one left alive to ask. So. Right now, make sure you have all the recipes that you love. And in my case, it is these ice box cookies. Mmm.